Okay, so this is a question that comes up fairly often. Is mediation legally binding? And the answer is no. The only thing that is legally binding is a court order. And the more cynical amongst you will say, well, the courts don't enforce their applications, so not even then. So, yeah, okay, there's that. But look, the point is with mediation, and mediation is discussion. It's uh, hopefully you're going to come up with an agreement with your ex-partner and you can both be reasonable, you can both compromise, you can both come up to an arrangement and then you don't go to court. That, that's the ideal scenario because let's face it, lots of people split up and they sort out arrangements for the children and they agree arrangements for finances and that's the end of it. That's the ideal situation because otherwise you're going to be paying for mediation, paying for a court application, paying for a solicitor taking time off work for court hearings, stress, upset, and it's going to cost you an absolute fortune. And it can go into tens, hundreds of thousands, as I have said a few times on my TikToks. At a recent legal conference my partner attended, it was agreed by all the solicitors and barristers that £53,000 is not disproportionate for a court case for legal fees. So, yeah, there's that. So what happens if you agree something with your ex-partner in mediation and then suddenly they change their mind and they decide that they don't agree with it anymore. What would the court do about it? The true answer, not a lot. If you are in that situation and your ex-partner has changed their mind, uh, yeah, there's not a lot you can do. <clears throat> you could have a memorandum of understanding, you could perhaps submit that to the court or not as the case may be and the court is not going to have to pay an also a lot of interest in it look the court will probably want to know why people agree to stuff and change their minds perhaps the situation has changed because if why would you agree something that says in your child's best interest and then suddenly decide it's not in your child's best interest then ask what's changed but there's your answer if you go to mediation agree something with your ex and your ex changes their mind no it doesn't make much difference you're back to square one